Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. This is Ross and I'm going to be talking today about Full Throttle Remastered. I played this game back when I was younger and I used to love it and it came out remastered. Fantastic. And it took... <laughs> Sounds so sarcastic. Uh, no, it really is a good game. Uh, so this game, I did it in one playthrough and you have to start a new game. But I'll go over that. Uh, there are 40 achievements for a thousand points, a thousand gamer score, and it took about three hours, especially if you're using a guide. And I will be putting up a really good guide uh, by Maka. Maka's guide is very clear and concise as, as usual. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this one is a little different. I'm going to go through the story, um, and I'm going to explain where the achievements, because a lot of them are miscellaneous and some of them are story based, happen. So that way, if you get to another section, you know, oh, I didn't miss it. Okay. Because I know when it comes to a lot of mis miscellaneous achievements, uh, I, you know, not collectibles, not not difficulty things. Usually when it comes to miscellaneous, you're like, did I miss that part already? In this one, you could miss them very easily. So in this game, there are three different chapters. So we're going to talk about chapter one right now, which is where you start at the bar, basically. And when you are in the bar, that is where you can start getting the first section of achievements. And I have three of them. One final offer, and that will be part of the story. And then ring pull, which is where you're going to get the keys from the bartender by, by pulling the ring from his nose. And these may be... Are these considered spoilers? I don't, I don't think so. I'm going to try to make no spoilers here. And the third one in the bar section is a number one polecat honcho. And that's where you take out the first Rottweiler. And that is also part of the story. Uh, you're going to fight fight the guy on the, the bike. Alright, so. Uh, also in Chapter 1, the second section is where you meet up with Mo. Right, Mo, she's a girl in the game. And you're going to meet her. And there are, are 10 achievements that you get before you end up going back to the bar. Which is going to be the third section of Chapter 1. So in this second second section... You are going to be getting no Mo, which is finishing all of Mo's initial dialogue. So you need to talk to her, do all of the dialogue. You don't have to do it with everybody, but for her you do. The second one is minking memories, which is where you check out the photo of Uncle Pete in her shop. The third one is trailer trashed, where you kick in the trailer door when you go, go to the trailer. And a lot of these, I'm trying not to give spoilers, you know. You, but but you, you'll, you'll see when you get to the trailer door. Oh, this is the trailer. All right, Angels with Dirty Faces. That's, I believe, yeah, Todd is the is the guy in the trailer. It's where you keep talking to him. So don't kick the door in yet. Make sure you talk to him and talk to him and talk to him and talk to him. After that, then you can go back and kick in the door. All right. Uh, the fifth one is Carry the Torch, and that's where you retrieve Moe's welding torch, and that's part of the story. Uh, number six is Not So Tough After All, huh? Not so tough after all. That's where you pick the lock to the tower. Uh, you'll get to a, the security area with with the tower. And that's where you pick the lock. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You can watch the guy for that. Number seven is annoyed Floyd. Ugh, that Floyd. You have to hide from Floyd. Yeah, because Floyd is annoyed. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so number eight is okay. I'll put my lips on that. And that's where you siphon gas from Floyd. Right when you're in the, the the gas gas tower area, that's where you siphon the gas. Oh boy! Uh, and the reason why it's called "I'll put my lips on that" is because if you there are different commands you could do. You could use speak or lips. You could use hand. You could use eyes to look, or you could use feet to like you know to to kick or whatever. So one of them is I'm not putting my lips on that. So he says that when you when you you know try to use his mouth on things, you don't actually use his mouth. You just click on the the key. On, on the, the on the picture anyway number nine in this category is right in the junk oh dear uh, so this is where you recover the forks from the junkyard so the fourth place in this section is the junkyard and you're gonna go and you're gonna get the the forks and deal with the dog and all that you'll see with the guide uh, and then the last one is unnatural causes listen to Malcolm's last words all right, so those are the 10 achievements that you get after you meet Mo before you go back to the bar, still in chapter one. And the last part of chapter one is 
call, uh, where, you, where you, before going back to the bar, you're about to go back to the bar, right? New Hope, A New Hope, not, not Star Wars. This is A New Hope achievement. Grab the fake ID from Miranda. So you're going to get a fake ID. Then news to me is when you're back at the bar. All right, that's watch the entire news broadcast. Problem with your truck. Better watch it. All right. The third one is I I can do that. All right. I can do that. That's play a game of five finger fillet. So the guy's gonna have a knife and you're gonna play a scary game that I would never play because I would hurt myself. All right. And then that's that's also in the bar. And this last one, get a hose to fix your bike is called hose. That's the achievement. And those are the achievements you get in the chapter one of this game. And if you watch the guide, you'll see you'll see uh, Maca do all of them. <clears throat> uh, and then the chapter two, we're going to go. Uh, there are less achievements now. Chapter one has a lot of achievements. All right. Chapter two is when you're on the highway. So now you're going to get into an accident or cause an accident. I forget with the fertilizer truck. So the first achievement in the first section of chapter two is called fertilized. All right, so this is when you're on the highway. You're going to use the fertilizer to spin out Nestor and Bolas. All right, there you go. You, so you do it. I forgot. All right, the second section, when you meet Father Torque, he's going to be on a motorcycle. You'll know it's Father Torque. All right, the second section of this chapter, you, there are two Father achievements. Torque. One is Torque Talk, which is just talking to him. And the third one is a fistful of fertilizer, where you're going to use the fertilizer to get one of the items to, buy, well, to get the chainsaw from one of the bikers and that's all on the back roads you're going to meet father torque and all these guys on the, the end girls on the back roads and you're going to have to fight them for stuff the goal is to get the goggles all right so basically for the, i do say basically oh, wow so for the, the last part of this chapter after you get the goggles from the bikers the you have Three achievements. Goggler, which is use the cavefish goggles to locate the, their lair. So you're going to just put on the goggles and find the lair, which you can see in the guide. The spirit of Ricky Myron, which is escape with Ricky's ramp. So you're going to have to grab the ramp in the, in the, in the secret hideout and use it. And then pure evil, with like evil can evil, is launch over Poyahoga Gorge. So that's part of the story also. So this whole chapter two basically is a highway section. You're, so the first section is where you first go on the highway, get that fertilizer. The second section is where you meet Father Torque in the back roads and fight the other people for the goggles and the chainsaw. And the third part of that, that chapter is where you use the goggles, find the secret entrance, get the ramp, and get out of there. There you go, chapter two. With the guide, shouldn't be very long at all. Chapter three is where you're at Coralie Motors, and this is the last part of the game pretty much. So in this section, the first part of Chapter 3 are four achievements. And they are pull a fast one, which is get the battery from the minefield. So you, and you're going to be using the, the wind-up bunnies for that. Um, when you, you let the bunnies go, make sure you grab some. That's all I have to say. All right, number two is invasion of, <laughs> invasion of the bunny snatcher. That's where you're going to take all the bunnies from the poor guy. All right, I, you will see where that is when, once you get to, like, the arena-ish at, at Corley Motors. All right, the third one is hair trigger. Sacrifice bunnies to get through the minefield. That's also, you know, that's, that's, that's part of that. That's actually the one. That's the one where you have to make sure you pick them up. Just make sure when you let, let all the bunnies out, you, you pick them up. All right, and then the last one is taught a lesson. Taught is not spelt the way it's supposed to be, of course. Um, talk your way out of getting quartered. So you're just going to talk your way out of it, and you see that in the guide. All right, so that's when you're first there. Now, then you're going to enter a car derby. <laughs> and there's one achievement. What a pain threshold. And that's where, make the boom boom, brothers, go boom. Yeah, so that's story, it's a story, story uh, related. All right, and the last, no, not the last part. The third part of this last chapter is after the derby is all done, all right? There are two achievements in this part. One's wisecrack, kick the crack to open the secret passageway, and one is burger melt, where you melt Rip Burger's vision of the future. So Rip Burger's the bad guy, basically. And so you're going to destroy his his plan. <laughs> and so the last part of this, uh, of this um, chapter, which is the end of the game, is Rip Burger's truck. 
And Rip Burger's truck has a hard one in it, which you really need to watch beforehand, unless you want to replay the entire game. Or another option is make sure you make a manual save here. There are, there are auto saves. Make a manual save here before the truck part so that if you don't do this part, you can go back and do it. All right. So there are five achievements in this section. One is Rabbit Ragu. That's dice a rabbit in the engine fan. So you can use a rabbit to uh, in the truck. All right. The second one is now boarding, which is get Rip, Rip Burger into the plane. All right. That's kind of part of the story. Number three, can't beat a Corley. And that is send up a gorgeous death for Rip Burger. Yeah. So that's beating him. Uh, yeah, yes, you beat him. Spoiler. Uh, I, I guess technically in the story you could have not beat him, but whatever. All right. Uh, and then Looming Seagull is the next one. Kill the Loom Seagull. Uh, and the Loom Seagull is at the end of the game, and it's it's when you're hanging from the, th for, for, from the truck. It's when he's hanging from the truck, sorry. And you have to press fire, but you'll see that in the guide. And the last one is Burger. Well done. Burger, well done. And that's where you defeat Rip Burger without dying. That's the one that I would say is almost the kind of challenging one. It's not hard, but if you don't know and you die, you don't get it. So make sure that, uh, hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, if you reload the save, does it? Yeah, I guess if you reload the save, it would work. But because I was prepared for that, uh, I didn't die. So maybe just prepare that last one. So when you see Rip Burger's truck, make sure you know how to beat him without dying. Unless you want to just try and give it a shot. I guess you could do that, of course. Then the miscellaneous achievements. We're going to go to that quickly and then we'll finish up. So I would say that there are three, five miscellaneous achievements in this game that are not story related. One is not putting my lips on that, which is what I said. He says when you try to put, when you try to press the mouth icon on things that you wouldn't put your mouth on or talk to, and that's basically uh, keep your lips off of 10 objects. I, I did that in the beginning of the game. Same thing with that burning that burn in rubber, which is save your screen from the burn in with 3D animated vehicles. You just gotta leave the game idle and then a screensaver will come up. So those two achievements, the miscellaneous achievements I got in the beginning of the game. You can get them whenever though. Um, the mis miscellaneous achievement I got called Hardtail is what is uh around is at the end of chapter one. Uh, and I, you have to look at the picture of Maureen and Malcolm fixing the hard tail. So that happens in chapter one at the end, around after going back to the, the bar, after all that nonsense with Mo and all that. All right. And the last two, which are in the video right now, are where you beat the game, you get the credits, right? That's it. You're done, right? You skip it? No. Do not skip the credits. Do not skip the credits at all. Make sure... If you want to skip the credits, you save so you can go back and not skip the credits because the bunnies will come take over the credits. And that is thank no cats. And then last achievement, get all the full throttle achievements. Where is it? And I'm like, where is it? And then I read the guide and I said, oh, you have to restart any chapter, restart a new game, and then that achievement will pop. <laughs> you don't get it when you beat the game. You get it when you start a new game. So those two... Are, are you know just you got to be patient for that uh, for both those I guess so that's basically the whole game a couple miscellaneous ones you could do randomly three miscellaneous ones you could do randomly those two at the end and I hope I laid out where all of these achievements are and didn't give too much information on them so that you know what they are when they happen so you don't miss them and you can make plenty of saves so you can always have saves if you want to want to make sure you don't miss something but now you know that there are three chapters and you know there are different parts of each chapter all right so hopefully that's helpful and you will enjoy this little fun game and i will see you later with the achievement planner